everybody. Welcome back to another book reading session with Miss April. The title of our book today is When Grandma Gives You a Lemon Tree. You were hoping for one of these. A robot dog, a drone, a computer, a phone, a remote control car, or even some headphones. But surprise, it's a lemon tree. What should you do when grandma gives you a lemon tree for your birthday? First of all, act excited. Your face should look like this and not this and definitely not this. Next, say something polite. Try thank you, just what I needed. Keep smiling until grandma leaves or falls asleep. And do not harm your lemon tree. Don't drop it off a bridge. Don't tie it to your birthday balloons. And don't play ding dong ditch with the lemon tree. Now listen closely. This is important. Place your lemon tree in a sunny spot. Be careful not to overwater it. And prepare for battle against the intruders. When winter arrives, keep your lemon tree warm and wait and wait and wait some more. Once the snow melts, it's time to bring your lemon tree back outside. Well done. Sure, you can decorate your lemon tree or hide behind it Come out, come out, wherever you are. But you know what's even more fun? Picking lemons, woohoo! Pick them, slice them, squeeze them. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze a roux. Ta-da! Now you have lemon juice. You didn't think I'd just leave you with lemon juice, did you? Remember those gifts you were hoping for? It's a good thing you're staying focused. Gather these items, lemon juice, water, a pinch or handful of sugar, flashy lemonade stand, and a cute dazzling smile. ka -ching! Count all your cash and head to the store. Now you can finally buy whatever you want. something you can really, really enjoy and share with others too. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the book this week. I can't wait to see you in the next couple of weeks. Bye.